Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. I'm continuing this week with the New York Comic Con countdown. Today I'm going to be doing the Diago City Collectibles release of Build the 1-6 Scale Mustang. Now, I had to look at all the instructions because I figured it's going to be quite in-depth because obviously we were working on the engine. Uh, in the last stage, I thought we we're going to have an absolutely massive. You can imagine how big this engine is actually going to be. Uh, and then I realized we're not actually doing anything to do with the engine in this pack. It's all to do with the steering and suspension. So uh, we do seem to swap her and change around on parts of this build, which is a bit strange. But uh, it is big. I am going to be needing my uh, chassis that I've been working on, as you can see, that's how big it actually is. If you want to get this for yourself, let me just put that down nice and gently. I have put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So here you go, this is stage 49. And here is the instructions. And as you can see, we're going to be doing the front fender guard panel. So just two of these going into place. So this is going to be a nice quick stage to start this off. This is the rest of the magazine. Okay, definitely a nice easy place to start here just with these two parts and some screws. And quite simply these parts here are just going to go on top of these sections here making some sort of bulkhead sort of thing. So we've got one this side and one that side there. I mean, they're so big, I've had to uh, open up my cameras, zoom them out a little bit. Uh, DSO2 screws we're going to be screwing these in with. And it's basically just going to be two each side. So I'm going to get all of these screws in. Using my PH1 screwdriver on this build, I don't think I've actually used my PH0 <laughs> screwdriver at all. Because it's so big, all the parts are ginormous, so obviously the screws are going to be a lot bigger as well. Last screw going in here. I've put them all in with oil because we are going into metal. And with those in, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now that was a nice quick stage to start, wasn't it? So let's go and see what we're doing in stage 50. Here is the magazine. And we're going to start the steering mods here. So we're going to piece these two parts together here. Uh, we've got to put the rack in, looking like that. So by the end, this is how that's looking. I think I'm going to bundle the, these two stages together because that's part of the steering rack there. Then if I grab the next magazine, which is stage 51 here, here's the magazine. As you can see, we've got the parts that we're going to be putting onto the chassis of the vehicle. And then we're going to be attaching the steering rack to that. So I think they all complement each other, these two stages. So it does make sense to do them together. So here's all the parts for stage 50 here. And this is one of these ones where we really need to think about what way round everything's going. So to start off with, I'm going to need these two parts looking like this and probably best on the top camera. Turn that upside down, slot that into the top there like that. It's going to be held in with a DS25 screw. They're the only screws that come in this stage. And these are flange screws. All of this is metal, which, as I said, right at the start of this build, most of these parts are going to be metal. Because of the sheer size of this, it's going to need to be metal. I don't think plastic's going to cut it. Okay, once we've got this, on this end here, which has got the bend in it, that's where we're going to be putting the rack here. And that's going to be going on top as well. So if you have a look at this, all of these facing upwards here. The screws are going to be facing downwards. So once again... Bit of oil and a flange screw through here. That's looking good. And then the last part to go in looks just like this. Again, making sure that this is the same way around as all the rest of them. Turn that upside down and a flange screw to hold that into place. And there you go. That's the end of that stage. Put that to one side. And I'm just going to get all the parts out ready for stage 51. Now, these two parts here that we've got are metal. The rest here are plastic. I want to bring over the chassis, but this time I want it upside down. So I'm just going to gently lay this down. There you go, because it's this area here that I'm interested in. 
First we want to do is take the left suspension arm. That's going to be going on this side just here, just like that. And then that means the right one's going in there just like that. Now these are going to be held in with DS02 screws for the other side. It does mean one's going to fall out as I put this in, as you can see, but I'll get these DS02 screws in here. Once they're in, turn this upside down. And I'm going to be working on the steering now. So I'm going to be putting that into place. So quite simply, I'm just going to lie this across here like this. And I want to put this into position here. So just rotating this round. So that fits in just like that. and It's able to move. That's going to be held in with DS01 screws. These are little silver screws. Let me just uh, put that on top there. And then just one in this side here. And with that in place, and that able to move, that's all there is to do in that stage. So bringing this back over here, we're going to be putting the left suspension arm in. I'm just checking which one's the left one. It does have a stamp there. This is basically just going to be going in the indent here. And it's going to lie into position just like that, with this coming out of the hole that we've got down here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the right hand side. So that's coming out down there. Perfect. And now we've got these pins. So the pins have a smooth side and a rough side. I'm going to drop this in a bit of oil. And what we want to do is put these arms in by putting them through the hole here, ensuring it goes through the part over here as well, just like that. Now normally I'd use duckbill pliers, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in that way. So I'm going to use my old faithful, the hammer here. And just do the same on this one as well. This is why I use oil, you see. And there you go. They're in place. You do want to make sure that the pins engage on this side as well, so that these can't come out, as you can see. I want to turn this over, grab some PS11 screws, and I'm going to be screwing the front of these arms in here. These are flange screws. So one here, all the way in, and just one on the other side. I now need to bring over the wheels. They're basically going to be fitting this way around, probably best on the top camera. So this is going to go over there, and then the steering one is going to go over there to fit those two into position there. Now I'm holding the steering in with a DS25 screw. Now that's a silver screw. And the actual mount. I'm putting in with a DS12 screw. Again, I have put oil on these, but that's in. So that's the first wheel in. Do exactly the same on the other side. Now, the last thing to do, we've got these little clips here to go in. They're just going to go into these sides here. They can only go one way because you've got a small locating lug and then a screw lug. So, one that side. And one that side there. They're going to be held in with a PS12 screw. These are really tiny screws, these ones. As a matter of fact, they're so tiny, I probably am now going to have to use my tiny screwdriver. Pretty hard to show you these going in, but they're in there. Excellent. With those in, the wheels are going to be a little bit more wobbly because obviously we haven't put the top suspension in yet. So I am going to just support the front, I believe, just to make sure that I'm not putting any undue stress on the suspension arms, but that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage here, this is stage 53, we're gonna be putting the uh, anti-roll bar or stabilizer bar into place just like this. And we've just got a couple more things, including uh, looks like part of the, what is this? This is a uh, shaft, is this a shaft for the steering again? That's what it's looking like, into place like this. And this is the rest of the magazine. Perfect. 
I'm going to get everything out ready to go because some of these do look a little bit fiddly. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to take the anti-roll bar, put this underneath these two parts here so it's resting nicely into these channels just there. Now I've got some clips to put in. So one's going over this side here and one's going over this side here. And these are going to be held in with DSO3 screws. So a bit of oil, because we are going into metal, get these into place. This will stop this bar going anywhere, because I then need some PSO9 screws to screw the bottom of these into position just on the suspension arm here. So one there, and just one on the other side. Perfect. So with that in position, I can now put the car back on the floor. And we're going to be now working on the steering gearbox. So we've done this earlier on in the week. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to be putting this little gear shaft into the end here. Just checking if there's a different way it needs to go. I think it needs to go that way there. And I'm going to hold that in with a flange screw. This is a, a, P a DS17 screw. So get that in nice and tight. There should be no wobble in that, but it should be able to move, as you can see. Then I'm taking the next gear here. That's going to go into the hole next to it, and it's going to interlock with that one. And this is where I am going to start coating everything in oil in here. and I wouldn't worry about going to town on it. Grease is another option to use. I have got grease as well. I just find grease very messy to work with, so. <laughs> there we go, that's him. I've then got this worm gear to put in. So that's gonna be going in this way, just like that. And then I just wanna take the top of this and close all of that off, like that there. I'm holding it together with DSO2 screws. And I need two of these. Just check that when I turn this, it's turning that like you can see. Excellent. Okay, let's bring the car up for the final time. And this time I want it round this way because the two lugs that we've got here and here are gonna go over to the positions here. When I put this in, I do wanna make sure that it's engaged with that crank there, like that. Perfect. That's going to be held in with DSO2 screws. We need two of these, but to put them in, <laughs> we have to do it from the other side. So I'm going to try and cuddle it and then get these in here. That's perfect. That's all in. Let's turn it back around this way. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Now, I have to be honest with you, it's not really the place I'd like to leave it because, as you can see, the front wheels aren't really supported at all. So uh, they're very well, oh God, it's so heavy to hold. They're so wobbly in here until we actually get the tops on. Not really a good place to uh, store this. So I think I'm going to store this on blocks and just support these up like that. So I don't really want to bend this section underneath because, remember, those support rods there are plastic, even though everything else is metal. Uh, but obviously this will reinforce when we get the tops in as well. So uh, let me just gently put that down here. Just see how it looks when it's sitting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put something underneath here just to make sure that they're lifted so I don't hurt that. <laughs> anyway, until next month, I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.